We're going to show you the medial nerve and how it um, goes into the carpal tunnel. So we start in the forearm, we identify the medial nerve in its fascial plane, keep it in the middle and we trace the medial nerve distally. And you can see it starts to become, go more superficially, it becomes a bit hypoechoic, but you can change the angle of course, and it wraps around the tendon, so it becomes superficial to the tendons just before it goes into the carpal tunnel. And that lies on top, and now we're getting to the carpal, carpal tunnel itself. So we've got the, the, the uh, ulnar side is on the left side here, and we can identify Guillain's canal there. Uh, it has the artery, vein, and the nerve in there, which is only a compartment. And we can see the retinaculum all the way to the radial side and then we identify the medial nerve again into that compartment. If the patient wriggles their fingers a little bit, then you can see the medial nerve has a different moving uh, dynamic than the tendons on top. You can spin on it, and the medial nerve again lies superficial to the tendons, and it's normally a bit more hypoechoic, and if you wriggle your fingers again, you can see there's a different dynamic to that. And in longitudinal, you could trace it outside, more, more proximal to the carpal tunnel, or a bit more uh, distally to the carpal tunnel in longitudinal. And that is the medial nerve in the carpal tunnel and the flexor tendons around there. That's how you assess the medial nerve into the carpal tunnel. Mm -hmm.